Barely a year after the Cuban Missile Crisis, production on a pilot for a new television show began that depicted a small group of Americans having to rebuild civilization in a virtual post-apocalyptic world. From these ashes, they had to construct a new society. Remarkably, during the height of tensions with the Soviets, the new social order they created was founded on Marxist communism. Oh boy, we're going home to Moscow! I was looking for a funny way to say something very serious. Doing it gently with comedy, uh, you achieve the same purpose and sometimes it's longer lasting. I don't think we had any concept while we were doing it that that's what we were doing. I don't think we had any concept at all that it was going to sustain this long. It was about uh, people finding, uh, you know, uh, people had to get along, they had to work together, had to help each other. Russia, Russia, lay that missile down. Russia, Russia, must you always frown. So we've got to function as a group. You're right, Skipper. Like 10 years ago, who would have figured we'd be here on this island, sharing our load and pulling for the common cause? I tell you, it's creeping socialism. Ever hear of Karl Marx? In his mind, communism was born more than a hundred years ago. He saw men as divided into two classes, workers and capitalists. Marx said that in pure communism, not only would there be no classes, there'd be no government. Professor, will you tell these people who is in charge of this island? Well, actually, no one is. No one? No one! Good heavens, this is anarchy! I'm sorry, Mr. Howell. Unless I can figure out a way to make everybody share it, nobody gets it. These Americans, they think they can fool us. Especially Gilligan. He acts too stupid to be stupid. Must be the cleverest one of them all. 